I'm Jessica Foote and we're at my family farm, Lunar Rhythm Gardens. Today we're going to have a pollination celebration, an awareness for wild bees and pollinators. We're going to have an expert, Susan Chan, come do a little garden tour, show where they live, what kind of habitat they like. Well, this is a really exciting opportunity because this is a place where um, Jess Foote is an ecological farmer. She uses no insecticides on her farm. And so what I'm doing is working with her to create a plan to create nesting habitat and foraging habitat within her her farming operation. She needs pollinators. Um, can be many different things. You can have birds that are pollinators, such as hummingbirds, bats that are pollinators. But really the most important pollinators are insects. And of the insects, the bees are the most important pollinators, but there are also many flies that pollinate. One of the reasons why pollinators are uh, in trouble is because of insecticides. Lack of places for them to live, so lack of habitat. Pollinators need to be able to eat and they need to be able to nest. And so we have, by developing too much land, by not leaving any natural land in the, in the rural landscape, um, we are reducing the amount of food there is for pollinators. Over the last 30 years, scientists have found that there's been a, a clear decline in pollinators. So we've, we've started off with healthy populations and now we're getting fewer and fewer pollinators. And so we're going to be working on making specific plantings um, in areas of the farm that are not in production. Planting things like fruit trees, berry bushes. We're going to be doing things like cover crops such as clovers or alfalfas that produce nectar for bees. And then we're going to be putting in native plants in certain areas. We're creating uh, hedgerows that have many flowering plants in them. Jess is a very community-minded person and what she's hoping to do is grow these pollinator plants for her own garden and then as other farmers would like to do this on their farm she's hoping to be able to offer them um, cuttings or seedlings or seeds of these plants so that they can they can copy what she's done on their own farms.